So you just want your dream job at the top of a multinational company and but for that you need to learn a DSA. By the way, what is a DSA? Data structure and algorithm. Why you need to learn? Because the first round to crack an any of a top of an MMC, it would be requiring that is a DSA. And DSA is like a must of a thing. Why why you need to learn DSA? How you will be learning DSA? What are the resources need to be followed? Everything we will be discussed. Stay tuned for it. So this is a basic of a requirement which will be coming in online assessment and also in a coding interview. To just to crack this interview, you need a DSA. But as a software engineer, you need to understand why you need a DSA. Because a DSA is a like a basic of a requirement in which a software engineer try to solve a fine, very fine, complex problem and try to do in a simple way just by using a DSA. How you you would be using it? Everything you might be aware of it. But just a basic of a glimpse of what is a DSA. So just a few years back, I was also at the same position as you are. I was also struggling to learn DSA. I was also uh, wasn't able to learn a DSA very well and like having a much of a, a difficulty and was a dreaming to crack and a dream job. But actually I cracked and a dream job that is a make my trip and how I cracked it, uh, everything I had already been discussed. You can also check out our video on ITAP. So now let's understand how I was able to learn a DSA. Uh, neither I didn't went uh, any of a fancy of a colleagues that uh, that they are uh, teaching a DSA in very like a uh, much of a great way or like uh, not I took any of a paid course. I just learned uh, simply through that is a uh, like different different steps and uh, different different methods that I would be like letting you know. So first thing like uh, to learn a DSA, it's much of an important that you should be able to learn a basic of a programming. Now to learn a basic of programming, uh, you can, you just need to pick up uh, any of a programming language. You can either choose up Java, Python, or C plus plus. Any one of a language you ju you just need to pick it up. Just learn basic of a programming, and then also able to try to solve question. This will be helping you to build a fluency in a, any of a programming language. Then second thing that uh, you just need to go uh, and learn before learning a DSA that is an uh, object oriented programming because like this object oriented programming concepts would be helping you in a DSA in writing code and also able to understand the syntax and statement that what they are trying to do and what the complex thing they are trying to solve to so to learn a, like a object oriented programming there have been many resources so resources are uh, what would I used to follow will be also discussing in the like upcoming part of video so we will be discussing there and before uh, moving to our DSA, there has been also a special giveaway plan in this video. So make sure that you watch the video till end. We will be discussing uh, later on. After learning, uh, oops, I just uh, started to learn a basic of a DSA. So to learn of a basic of a DSA, I just went to on uh, like uh, YouTube and I uh, just like a uh, few watch the few video, implemented and then I was uh, like uh, ready to go. But it was uh, not an actual way in which you should be learning a DSA. For this, you just need to do. Uh, do one thing that is uh, you just need to have uh, like a hands-on experience and are uh, also able to visualize a DSA that how like uh, things have been working it and how the implementation and how like um, uh, what you got, algorithms have been there so to understand deeply you just need to uh, have a uh, one a uh, specific app and it was like a lifesaver uh, app for me the app which is a uh, that is a DSA visualizer in which you'll be able to understand like each and everything like uh, if you're learning or uh, trying to learn uh, arrays then you uh, it's uh, just a simple uh, in this uh, you just now uh, need to select a topic of uh, arrays and then you'll be able to uh, visualize the about the array that how the addition of uh, arrays have been there how the relation of uh, like array used to be there everything like traversing and insertion and division everything you'll be able to visualize you just need to have a app called a dsa visualizer and it's also available on android and ios so no need to worry and you can also download uh, from my video description link is given there uh, so once you have been installed you can just uh, select on uh, of uh, any of a uh, like a uh, topic whatever you wanted to learn just uh, we will be taking example of uh, that is a bsa so once you click on bsa you will be seeing a one of a door in which uh, you will be also seeing a uh, different different type of numbers of uh, addition uh, means uh, you can choose your own number or you can just uh, uh, click on now uh, create node so it will just create a node and you can just see how the visualization of one node has been created then there has been option of a like a addition of one more node so you can see that on left side the one more new uh, node can be added uh, similarly you can add one more node so you can see one more add and you can see that complete a bst has been uh, been formed apart from this uh, when you go on a top of a nearby there has been a, a feature like uh, you can see also the code and implementation that how the 
uh, things have been there. You can also see the item that what the item might be added, and also you can also have a feature of a deletion of node that how the deletion of node will become. And you can create like as many as a big of or like a trees you wanted to create, and you can explore it. And apart from this, uh, when you go on a uh, like a documentation or implementation part of for this, you will be able to see that like a different uh, language option also you can switch around it, and also the in depth uh, documentation have been there about this uh, like. Uh, how the implementation of a BSC bank. So it's an, uh, just an uh, easy of a tool in which uh, you will be able to learn a DSA in much of a handy and easier way and also able to visualize. So here the complex algorithm has been there and everything have been there. So if you are preparing for an interview or uh, planning to correct an opportunity, make sure that you have been uh, downloaded this uh, DSA visualization. It is a much of a handy and much of a helpful for every like a uh, college students and uh, those who are dreaming to correct a uh, dream placement opportunity. So the mistake which I made that was on a DSA was not uh, revising it regularly. So I was just uh, like uh, trying to learn a new or new of our topics, but uh, not uh, like revising and uh, like uh, repracticing the previous topic and not a uh, revisualizing. So I just uh, did one thing that is I just uh, used to like a uh, frequently revise through that uh, DSA visualizer app and then it just helped me to revise and like help me to uh, consistently uh, practice in uh, like a uh, problem solving and it just helped me out. Second thing was I just forgot that only DSA would, won't be help you. You just need to have a, like a enough of a good project, work on your resume and also the core subject. Core subjects have also been important to crack your dream opportunity or dream placement. So core subjects such as like a DBMS, a CN, a OOPS and a aptitude and a computer networks. These are a few things that you should be aware of it because this also it just matter on your interview. Apart from this, the few resources which I just followed to crack and learn a DSA. First thing was that I just went uh, on a free code camp in which uh, uh, DSA and data section algorithm videos were them. I just said uh, it just helped me to like visualize and also help me to uh, learn about much of an implementation. But second uh, channel I would be recommending you that is a uh, uh, take you forward in which uh, uh, DSA problems like uh, how you need to solve and uh, different different approaches have been discussed. And third thing you can also follow Kunal Kushwa which is also has been explained about the uh, different searching and uh, sorting algorithm in a much of a better way so these were in a three of my channels which just i followed and a dsa visualizer app which just helped me to learn a dsa very well so i just went on a one website called needcode.io in which uh, there was a like a roadmap in which like it was like easy to learn and uh, like also uh different different topic over there and a uh, pattern based uh, like a uh, learning was there so it just helped me to out to, uh, to correct and dream of an placement and i was able to correct make my trip so this was all about like how did i learn and what are the reasons i follow but now the main thing comes that is a keyword so keyword is that you just need to uh, like the video and a comment uh like uh dsa underscore android or ios so whatever the device are you will be having it you just have to comment a dsa underscore android or dsa underscore uh, ios based on that i will be also distributing a dsa visualizer a, a coupon code in which you will be having a full access of the app so that's an amazing uh, opportunity and this giveaway result will be uh, announced after the 15 days in a community tab or also in a uh, next upcoming video i will be making uh, it and uh, i will be sharing it there so you just have to subscribe and make sure that you comment uh, dsa underscore android or, or uh, ios and uh, i will be just sharing you the promo code that's it and make sure that you just download dsa visualizer app see you in the upcoming video and do share your experience about how you are learning a dsa in comment and uh, i will be there you to help you out if you get stuck in anywhere that's it see you in the upcoming video